Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to discuss some aspects in bow guns that are still pretty vague for some people out there. We will be discussing how power barrel, long barrel, and mind's eye play a role in gunning. And before we start, a big shout out to Death Cream for giving me the juicy info that I will present to you in the video. These are the numbers for projectile speed, max range, start of crit range, and end of crit range. Now I know, majority are not a fan of numbers, so I'll simplify this presentation as much as I can throughout the video. We have normal 1 to 3, pierce 1 to 3, spread 1 to 3, sticky 1 to 3, slicing and elemental. Of course, some of the ammos here we don't actually use, so let's tidy up a bit. That's better. Let's do a brief explanation of the values that we see here. Projectile speed is how fast your bullet travels. That's pretty self-explanatory right there. Max range, however, determines how far away you can be from the monster and still have your bullet reach the monster. This plays a role on certain ammo types such as slicing and sticky due to the fact that all you need is to make the bullet reach the monster. It doesn't matter if you're in critical distance or not. The damage won't be affected by crit distance. You just have to reach it. Next we have crit range. We have two columns here, the start of crit range and the end of crit range. Crit range affects normal, pierce and spread. If you don't fire these ammo types in their respective critical ranges then you would deal way lesser damage. You would know as well if you are in crit range if you pay attention to your reticle. Don't worry, you won't miss it. If it glows and you see additional markings there, you are at crit range. So what happens when we use power barrel and long barrel? Let's start off with power barrel first. As you can see in the table, there's been a change on the projectile speed, max range, and end of critical range. Power barrel decreases the speed of your bullets, which will help ammos that pierce through the monster get additional ticks, which are pierce ammos and elemental ammos. I'm aware that in the description in the game for power barrel, it increases the stun and exhaust capability of your gun. Don't count on it. Remember, power barrel is great for pierce and elemental. Now let's take a look at the changes if we use the long barrel mod. As I've mentioned before, power barrel decreases the projectile speed of your ammo, long barrel does the opposite. It makes it faster. So projectile speed, max range, and end of critical range will increase. This increase actually just benefits stickies and slicing because for normal and spread ammo setups, it's preferred to take advantage of close range mods because you'll get a huge damage boost from them. For pierce and elemental ammos, you would like the bullet to travel slower because you want more ticks. So yeah, only stickies and slicing ammo benefit from this one. Now let's talk about Mind's Eye. Mind's Eye affects the start and the end of critical range of an ammo. It decreases the critical range start and increases the critical range end. Here is the equation on how Mind's Eye will affect each of the start and end critical ranges for each ammo type. If you would compute for it on your own, it would look something like this. Let's make Pierce 3 as the basis, but don't worry. I won't let you go calculating stuff. I've already done it for you. As you can see in this table, I just computed for normal and Pierce. The end of critical range is never our concern for gunning. Spread and elemental are already at zero critical range start. So it's pointless having mind's eye for these ammo types. And that's why I'm saying Mind's Eye just has no effect on them because we don't need it. We won't use it. We will only use Mind's Eye for normal and pierce. The importance of critical range start of the ammo is not only the comfort of being in critical range but also in using close range mods. Close range mod activate on any range from 600 and below. So for normal ammo, for example, with Mind's Eye, from 50 to 600 range, you would be dealing optimal damage for your ammo and also with the added bonus coming from close range mod. For Pierce, with Mind's Eye, it will be from 250 to 600 range that you will be able to deal optimal damage with the added bonus coming from the close range mod. Now, long range mod is usually not preferred because it procs at ranges greater than 1600 which is really hard to maintain in a hunt. It's hard to maintain distance from a monster to fully utilize this and that is why all the pierce and normal builds that you see have no long range mod in them. 
For a clearer picture of what I'm talking about, here are some screenshots to give you an idea what I mean. Picture the Mega Barrel Bomb as the marker for 600 or the end of close range mod. And the training post is the monster. My character is placed exactly at the start of the ammo's critical range. So from the character's point to the Mega Barrel Bomb, you will be dealing your ammo's damage in critical range with the added damage from the close range mod. What you're seeing right now is normal ammo without Mind's Eye. And this one is with Mind's Eye. So it's kind of manageable for normal ammo. So I'm gonna say Mind's Eye is really not mandatory for this ammo type, but it's for comfiness. Take a look at Pierce ammo without Mind's Eye. Look how far that start of your crit range is from the monster. That distance is hard to maintain in a hunt. Really hard. When you have Mind's Eye equipped, it will drastically lower the start of your crit range. You get that optimal damage sooner and you get that chance to use the added damage from close range as well. That is why for Pierce, Mind's Eye is mandatory. Now for the conclusion, Power Barrel is essential for shots that pierce, namely Elemental and Pierce Ammo. Long Barrel works well with slicing and sticky because it greatly extends maximum range. Mind's Eye is a comfort skill for normal ammo in my opinion. If you feel comfy being in critical distance at the same time being able to be at close range, then you're fine without it. Mind's Eye is mandatory though for Pierce. Regardless if you'll use close range mod or not, it is because it's hard to keep the monster at a distance of a thousand in hunts. So it's best using Mind's Eye to lower the crit range start of Pierce down to 250. I'm hoping that this video cleared a lot of things for you guys. So with this added knowledge, try to min-max your builds and play around with the different guns and see which playstyle suits you most. Don't forget to drop a like in the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you're new to the channel and new to gunning, check out the playlist I made in the description below for a list of different builds for all ammo types. I stream on Twitch as well, feel free to drop by if you have any question about guns. If you want to say hi or join the usual people in the chat that cheer and rejoice every time I card. See you in the next video. And oh, oh, wait, I do have a Discord as well, just check the description below. See ya.